Russian and Belarusian tennis players from this summer's tournament because of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In the last hour or so, the ATP criticised the move, saying it was unfair. Here's Joe Wilson. Wimbledon may bask in tradition, but it's part of today's world and all the sporting implications of the invasion of Ukraine. And Wimbledon is taking a stand. So, while Russia's Daniel Medvedev has been allowed to compete on the tour as an individual, the world number two will be barred from Wimbledon. The same applies to Irina Sabalenka of Belarus, ranked four in the women's game. Those are two potential champions. There are many other players who will also now be missing. From one of Ukraine's most prominent recent tennis players, this reaction. Alex Dolgopolov says, a big thank you to Wimbledon and UK for stepping up and showing the world an example. What needs to be done to stop this madness? The International Olympic Committee has urged sporting federations worldwide to exclude competitors from Russia and Belarus. In some sports, they've continued to take part as neutrals. The sights and scenes of Wimbledon are known the world over. Thus, its decisions will generate global reactions. Russia has already called any ban unacceptable. Some tennis authorities are also likely to be unhappy. But even here, there is no roof to exclude the events of the wider world. Joe Wilson, BBC News.